All right, welcome to another weekly update for the M1 Finance Monthly Dividends Portfolio. If you missed last week's update, please go watch it. It is a very important update for you to be able to follow the direction we're going in this portfolio. Um, but yeah, please go watch that. Come back to this one if you did not see it. Um, making some substantial changes, so that's why um, I'm telling you to do that. But yeah, anyways, if you guys did watch it, just real quick here. So market gains are actually negative again. Earned dividends up 650. This is the total here. So gains overall up positive 3.91 thanks to those dividends and total return 2.46%. So every single week, $50 in. And then on top of that, dividends are reinvested. Sitting at a cash balance of 0.16. So um, not too bad there, but Anyways, last week we changed PSEC and Prospect, Cap or Prospect Capital and AGNC's allocation. So as you can see, they're sitting at 5.1% after this week's investment with the target being 7%. 7% might be too high, um, but we're going to ride it out another week, get that to the 7% and see what the numbers look like. So we're going to be talking about um, last week's numbers compared to this week in a second. Before we do that, let's talk about the dividends. So for the month of September, last week we left off with AGNC. So since then we've gotten paid from Main Street Capital, Pembina Pipe Corporation, Realty Income, SLG, Stag Industrial, and Prospect Capital. So for the month of September, we are sitting at $1.31. Now SPHD is one of the larger payers, so that usually comes in at the end of the month um, with reinvestment and everything going on. Um, we should expect about a dollar from SPHD, I think. And, uh, so yeah, we'll just assume that's what that's going to be. So we're looking at around 231 for September. Obviously that's an increase over August. So that's what we're looking for here is the dividends to be growing. It might even be higher with all these other companies that still need to pay. Um, but we just kind of like to wait and see what happens. So let's move on to simply save my dividend tracker. So we made some major changes to the direction of the portfolio, but this is last week's income number was $40, dividend growth was 3%, and dividend yield was 5.40. So with this week's changes, the new annual income is $47, dividend growth has decreased substantially to 0.2%, and dividend yield is 5.81%. So income went up, that's what we were expecting. Dividend growth went down, again, should have expected it. Not sure how much it was going to be, but that is what it is. And dividend yield is up to almost 6%, which is crazy. So if we click on annual income here, this is how it is currently. SPHD is still the number one income earner, which makes sense. It's 25% of the portfolio. PSEC being number two already, and it's only 5% of the portfolio. PBA is next, and then AGNC. So we're going to let it ride out with the changes we made last week, one more week before making any more adjustments and see kind of what the total portfolio will be sitting at with everything at weight basically. Um, so yeah, but with that being said, I mean, PSEC will probably be number two still and then AGNC will crawl into number three for top income in the portfolio. PSEC and AGNC are obviously sketchier companies, but I've been invested with PSEC for a while. Um, like I said, I am expecting them to do a dividend cut, but if they do, it'll probably be similar to what AGNC did earlier this year. They will probably cut to around 10% yield, which is still really good. Um, I don't think they would completely eliminate their dividend. A lot of people buy the stock for that dividend. So that's my opinion. Obviously you have to do your own research before you make any kind of investment related decisions for yourself. That's just kind of what I think is going to happen here. I think AGNC is comfortable where it's at, so I'm not too worried about that. But looking at dividend growth, obviously with the cut, um, they're down negative 7% for the year. I think if things go well for them, um, they would add their dividend back. We'll have to see, obviously. Um, we're still kind of in it, if you know what I mean. So um, we're going to have to see how it goes. But yeah, after next week, we'll reevaluate and kind of go from there. But um, yeah, that was kind of the quick update for the week. Um, as far as dividend growth, I mean, what's your guys' opinion on that? Are we okay at 0% um, or just slightly above? I think realistically our target should be at least 0 or a positive number. 
the fact that everything's being reinvested and this is a cash flow portfolio, the dividend growth doesn't need to be super positive. Um, but I think it should be, you know, at least zero or a little bit above it. That way we're not like trending in the wrong direction. Um, but yeah, something like that's going to change with different companies doing different things. You know, another company may cut this year and we would have to readjust anyways. But um, yeah, any opinions on that? Just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Very exciting to see the income creeping up like that. Um, I think we're going to make some more changes next week. But again, I just want to see how one more week goes and then we'll reevaluate again. So should be next couple updates should be a little bit more exciting. And uh, we'll have to see how the dividends come in over the next two months as well to see um, if it was even really worth kind of doing all that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. A lot of new subs coming in. Um, if you guys are watching my videos, just sub to the channel. It's completely free. Why not do it? And uh, leaving a like on the video always helps as well. I will see you guys in another update.